It's an exciting time for green technologies, and biofuels have been big news in motorsport recently. Ex-government minister Lord Drayson's bioethanol-powered Aston Martin made a big splash in the British GT Championship. We were a contender for the championship all through the year. We had um, a very reliable car. Johnny Cocker, uh, who, who drives with me, is a really top driver. If you just said to me at the beginning of the season, with a new bioethanol fuel car, we come second in the championship, I wouldn't have believed you. So it was a, a really dream result. What we've seen in the past, the people who'd gone green hadn't been winning. What we've done is shown that you can win, that you can have high performance, but you can also be green. And when people started saying, can I get this bioethanol, you know, it's faster, I would say to them, well, get yourself something. Now a group of students from Coventry University, inspired by Lord Drayson's success, have done just that. We were just flicking through Autosport all, all and we noticed the Aston Martin GT car. And we thought, why don't we try and do something more at club level of motorsport to, to show that biofuels can work at any level of motorsport and, and, and at any budget. These cars are putting out less than half of the emissions that normal race cars are putting out. We also wanted to show that um, it can be accessible to the lower end of the market and just show basically that you know, motorsport can be green. So with the help of a university speed grant, three students formed Biotech Motorsport to run a bioethanol racing car in this year's low-cost championship. It's a 1300 cross-flow engine, modified to run on petrol, and then we've modified it to run on biofuel. Converting the car, that was quite difficult because it involves expertise and equipment which we don't have. So we had to um, have the use of a rolling road for the day just to tune it. Um, we've still got, you know, we're still in the development stages at the moment, so no doubt there'll be more problems along the line as we come across them. If it's applied in the right manner, there's no reason why biofuel can't outperform a petrol car quite easily. If you look at the days when diesel cars came in, they started off smoky old black engines, they don't work and they're slow. Whereas now, for example, in motorsport, um, the past two Le Mans wins have been run by diesel Audi. It's quite simple to be able to see how it will, how, how it will perform in the future. But for now, the team faces a race against time to get the car ready for their low-cost debut. I think we're one of the youngest teams um, in, the, in, in the championship, really. We're all university students. Um, we're using basic resources that we can get hold of. I think the oldest out of all of us is about 22. So <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm, I'm sure many of the competitors have got shoes older than that. <laughs> The current low-cost champion, Declan McDonnell, has come to see how the new team are getting along. Hi, David. How you doing? Not too bad, thank you. How are you doing? There's a lot of people in the series really interested to see how you guys get on. I think you'll get a really warm welcome from, yes, from everyone that's involved. And in terms of the engine, what, what have you had to do to make it It's just it's rejetting, re rejetting the carbs. And it's as simple as that. Yeah. The big, the big challenge is because of the closeness of the racing, yeah. you find a lot of the top guys have got their cars really well set up and handling really well so that they can really push in the racing as, as close as they possibly can. It all comes down to budget and as much testing as you can do. So what's Declan's view on the biotech team's prospects? The bio guys, I think that the, the biggest issue is clearly going to be getting the engine sorted um, to run consistently for all 14 rounds. At the moment they look to be um, a couple of seconds off, which is pretty good actually for a first outing. They've got the whole winter ahead of them to be able to get the car honed down engine and setup wise. I know they're targeting top 10, I think they're probably more than capable of doing that. Once they're in the top 10, that's when they really have to try and hone the setup of the car down to really get those last couple of tenths out of the performance. But for me, there's no reason why they shouldn't aim to um, get top five and then after that, who knows, that they've got a good chance. To see just where the biotech car is at, Ideas for Life TV has arranged for Aston Martin's young hotshot driver, Johnny Cocker, to pay a visit. First up, it's time to try Declan's petrol-powered low-cost. Respectable. Having got to know the circuit, time for Johnny to test the biofuel car. Unfortunately, a downpour has wet the track, meaning lap times won't be comparable. But there's plenty of interest in seeing how the car will perform.
minute 8.2. So, eight, nine seconds off pace in the wet. The car's probably a bit slower, but this time next year we'll be as quick. Definitely. <laughs> It actually feels like it's overfueling, really. When you're just asking for a bit, it yeah. almost gives as much as it would on full power. Yeah. Um, w without the throttle opening, it's not allowing it to accelerate. It feels a bit it's talkier it. than the other car, in, if anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. But now the car feels nice. The guys are just having a look at the throttle because there was a little bit of an issue with um, with the throttle response. It's exactly the same as, uh, type of scenario that we were in as well, and um, you know, it's just a case of getting it right and then once it's there it's done so yeah just near the end of the the petrol car run we had uh, quite a downpour so we're obviously not not able to get a representative time out of this car you know there's no reason why it can't be as quick um you know when there's a kind of this at times that the engine works really cleanly and um it feels absolutely you know on par with the petrol car there's still a long road ahead but Biotech is already some way to proving bioethanol's viability in motorsport. It's been great having Johnny in the car. We've basically been able to use his knowledge as much as, as, much as we can. We've got loads of information off the car and, it, and we're just looking forward to coming back. It's a bit drier, a bit warmer and we can put some competitive lap times in really. The Aston Martin show it can be successful. So there's no reason why ours can't be successful. So that just drives us on every day to keep pushing and pushing.